while writing codes we come across situation where we need to make some decision based on different conditions and for that we use conditional statements in javascript we have several conditional statements we have if statement we have if else statement we have if else letter and we have switch statement so using these we can write some conditional statements in javascript and you will understand what a conditional statement is in a bit now in this lecture we are going to talk about if statement we use if statement to write conditional code in javascript now what is a conditional code a conditional code is that code which we want to execute based on some condition when we use if statement this is the syntax for if statement so we use if keyword followed by a condition now this condition can be any boolean value or it can also be an expression a comparison expression which returns a boolean value or it can be any truthy or falsy value okay and when this condition returns true then the code which we write inside these curly braces that will get executed so the code which we write inside these curly braces after this if keyword it will only get executed if this condition returns true if this condition does not return true in that case the code inside these curly braces will not get executed so here we are writing a conditional statement here the code written in these curly braces will be executed only if this condition returns true and as i mentioned this condition can be any boolean value it can be an expression which returns a boolean value or it can be a value which can be converted to truthy value let's understand this with an example let's say i have a code i have this console.log statement and from this console.log statement let's say we want to display hello world so we want to display this message in the console now what i want is i want to execute this code only based on a condition so this code should not be always executed it should be executed based on a condition so for example let's say we have a variable let's call it x and its value is 10 now what we want is this console.log statement should only be executed if the value of x is less than or equal to 10 so here we can write if x is less than or equal to 10 so we know that this comparison operator this is a comparison operator and we have learned that a comparison operator always returns a boolean value it either returns true or false in this case the value of x is 10 so here x is equal to 10 so this condition it here it will return true so in that case let's use a set of curly braces and inside those curly braces let's write this condition so now this line of code this console.log statement it will only get executed if this condition returns true in this example x is equal to 10 so this condition here will return true in that case the code which we have written inside these curly braces that will get executed if i save the changes you can see hello world logged here that means this code here has been executed but if i change the value of x to 12 now this condition will return false because x is neither equal to 10 nor it is less than 10 12 is neither less than nor it is equal to 10 so here this condition it is going to return false and when the condition returns false this code block the code which we have written inside these curly braces that will not get executed and that's why if i save the changes you won't see hello world logged here so here we are executing some code based on a given condition here the condition is written here so if this condition returns true the code written inside these curly braces will be executed but if this condition returns false the code written inside these curly braces will not get executed it will be skipped and the execution will move to next line so here let me also write another console.log statement and here let's say code execution complete so this console.log statement it will always get executed because we are not executing this console.log statement conditionally for this console.log statement before executing it we are not checking for any condition 
right so when this code will be executed first this line will be executed there we are setting the value of this variable x to 12 then this code will be executed here we are checking a condition if this condition returns true then the code written inside these curly braces will be executed if this condition returns false the code written inside these curly braces will not get executed and the execution will move to next line and in the next line this code will be executed and it will log this message code execution complete so currently this condition will return false so this console.log statement will not get executed and if i save the changes you will see since this condition returned false the execution skipped this code block and it executed next line of code and there we are logging this message code execution complete so that is logged here but if this condition returns true for that let's change the value of x to 10 or less than 10 maybe let's set it to 9 so in this case x is 9 and 9 is less than equal to 10 so in this case this condition will return true and it will execute this code block and after that this line will also get executed so let's save the changes and now you can see hello world is also logged here so we are executing this code conditionally and that's why this is called as conditional statement so using this if we can write conditional statements we can check for a condition and based on that condition we can execute some logic if the condition returns true we will execute the code written inside this curly braces but if the condition returns false we will not execute the code written inside these curly braces and this is the use of if statement now if you set this condition to true so if you specify true here that means this condition will always be true that means this code will always get executed so if your condition is always going to true then that means you always want to execute this code so in that case this if statement is not required at all because if you always want to execute this code you don't need if statement you can simply put it outside of the if block and you can remove the if statement and also if you pass false here that means the condition is always going to be false that means this code will never get executed so in that case also we don't need this if statement at all because we don't want to execute this code ever so this if statement is not required at all so that's why the condition which you write here it should not always return true or it should not always return false the condition which we write here it should return true in some cases but it should also return false in other cases it should not always return true or it should also not always return false so for example here if i say x less than equal to 10 and here we have set the value of x as 9 when this code will be executed this x is always going to be 9 we are not changing the value of x anywhere here so in that case this condition will always be true right because x is always going to be less than 10 the value of x is 9 it is always going to be less than 10 so in this case this condition is always going to be true because here we are not changing the value of x so what we are going to do is here let's change the message and let's say you are eligible for voting okay and here let's also change this message and let's say thank you for voting and now what we are going to do is here we are going to create a variable let's call it age and here we are going to check the value of age variable so if age is greater than equal to 18 then we will display this message you are eligible for voting otherwise we will not do anything now this age we are going to take it from the user for that we are going to use the prompt function we learned about the prompt function in our last lecture and we learned that using this prompt function we can ask user to input some value so here let's ask user to please enter your age okay and whatever age the user will enter we are going to store it in this age variable now keep in mind that the value which we will receive from the prompt function that is going to be a string value so when we are going to use this greater than equal to operator on that string value this greater than equal to operator it will first convert that string value to number type and then it will do the comparison that's what we have learned right so here let's save the changes 
and it will show an alert window if i pass a value less than 18 let's say 15 in that case the age will be 15 right age will be 15 now 15 is neither greater nor equal to 18 so this condition here will fail and that's why the code written inside this code block will not get executed and that's why you will not see this message you are eligible for voting because this code block has been skipped and next line of code has been executed which is logging this message thank you for voting but if i refresh the page again and if i pass a value which is greater than or equal to 18 let's say 20 and if we click on this ok button 20 will be assigned to age and 20 is greater than equal to 18 in this case 20 is greater than 18 so now this condition will return true and when this condition will return true the code written inside these curly braces will be executed and that's why you will see this message you are eligible for voting logged in the console and after that we also have this statement which is outside of the if condition so this code will also get executed and it will log thank you for voting so in this way using this if statement we can execute some of the code conditionally so for the condition here when we are specifying the condition inside these parentheses for this if statement there we can use a boolean value true or false but as i mentioned we should never use true or false in the condition because if we use true that means we always want to execute the code written inside these curly braces so in that case we don't even need this if statement we can simply write the code which we want to execute outside of the if block and if we specify false here that means we never want to execute the code written inside these curly braces so we can simply remove that code instead of writing it inside the if statement so we should never use boolean value true or false explicitly instead we should use some expression which returns a boolean value true in some cases but it also returns a value false in some other cases so we should never write a condition which always returns true or always returns false so here we need to write some expression for the condition which returns a boolean value for example here we are using this comparison operator and we know the comparison operator always returns a boolean value it will either return true or false or we can also use a value which is a truthy or falsy value so for example here if i use age this age is going to receive a value okay now that value can be a truthy value or falsy value for example let me save the changes if i pass 12 here this 12 will be assigned to age and 12 is a truthy value so if i click on this ok button you will see that this 12 is a truthy value when we are using it inside this if condition that truthy value will be converted to true and because of that this code will be executed and that's why you will see this message you are eligible for voting but if i pass zero here zero is a falsy value so this zero will be assigned to age and here when we are using that age variable for the if condition it will convert that value zero to its boolean type right so number zero when we try to convert it to boolean type it gets converted to false so here if i click on the ok button you will still see this message you are eligible for voting why because as i mentioned whatever value we pass here inside this input box that is returned as a string so here when i am passing zero and when i click on the ok button this prompt function it is going to return string zero okay so this string zero it is not a falsy value all right because for a string if the string is empty string then only it is a falsy value here the string value which we are receiving that is not an empty string there we have this zero so this will be converted to true so this age here it is storing this string value zero and when we are passing it here it is going to convert that string zero to truthy value so that's why in this case also this code is getting executed okay but if we change it to number type after reading the value so we are going to receive this string zero now what we want is we want to convert it to number type so before checking this age first we will convert it to number type and the shortcut for that is you can use plus before it okay and when we use plus before this age it is going to convert that string value to number type so now if i save the changes you won't see this message logged in the console if i save the changes and if i pass zero 
and if I click on this OK button, this string zero will be assigned to this age variable. Now, when we are using this string zero in the if condition, before that we have used this plus operator. So this plus operator will convert that string zero to number zero. And number zero is a falsy value. So that's why the condition here, it will become false. And because of that, this code, the code which we have written inside these curly braces, that will not get executed. And that's why you will not see this message. You are eligible for voting here in the console. So for the if statement, we can use an expression which returns a Boolean value true or false, or we can use a truthy of falsy value also. Okay. But here, let me go ahead and let me write this comparison expression here. So if age is greater than or equal to 18, then only we want to execute this code. All right. So in this lecture, we learned about if conditional statement. What this if statement does is it checks for a condition. If that condition returns true, it will execute a block of code. But if that condition does not return true, if it returns false, it will skip the execution of that block of code and the execution will move to the next line and the next line of code will be executed. Now here, let's say our requirement is if this condition returns true, we want to execute this code. But if this condition does not return true, we want to execute some other code. How can we do that? So for example, when the age is greater than or equal to 18, we want to display this message, you are eligible for voting. But if the age is not greater than or equal to 18, if it is less than 18, then we want to show a message, you are not eligible for voting. So after this if statement, I want to show you are not eligible for voting. Now currently, if the age is greater than or equal to 18, it will display this message that you are eligible for voting. But after that, it will also execute this code. Now, this code, this line of code should not be executed if this block has been executed. This code, we only want to execute when this block of code has not been executed. That means when this condition has returned false. But currently, if I save the changes and let's say if I pass 15, here the condition will fail. So this code will not get executed, but this code will be executed. You are not eligible for voting. So in this case, it is okay. But if I pass 23, which is greater than 18, in that case, this code will be executed. And after that, this code is also executed. Here it says you're eligible for voting from this code block. And then it also says you are not eligible for voting. But what I want is either we should see this message, you are eligible for voting, or we should see this message, you are not eligible for voting. We should not see both of these messages together. So how can we achieve that? Let's learn that in our next lecture. This is all from this lecture and this is all about if statement in JavaScript. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.